Okay, everyone, so here I am in uh, Picto Chart, and I'm going to show you how to uh, download and um, size your image so it prints really nicely. Uh, so uh, right now I'm going to go into, I'm in Picto Chart, um, and now I'm in the actual Picto Chart. You may have multiple Picto Charts, and I'm going to export it. So I'm going to download it. Uh, depends on how it looks. A lot of times I'm going to do uh, portrait if it's really long. If it's not as long, I might do landscape. Um, and so I'm going to output as a JPEG. And then it's going to do that. Okay, so now it's, it's like that. And now I'm going to save image as... Um, I'm going to put that in pictures and, you know, name it whatever you want. Okay, so now I'm going to open my pictures. And uh, let's see here, Picto Chart Practice, that's it. So now I'm going to um, open with Paint. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take, use my selection tool and I'm going to select, I'm going to do a rectangular selection and you're going to notice I'm going to get this in sections. Okay, so this is going to be my first section. That's kind of an easy way to do that. Then I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit copy, okay, then I'm going to go to Word, right, so all programs, uh, Microsoft Office, Microsoft Office Word, okay, um, and then um, I might change the page layout to uh, the orientation to landscape, I'm going to see how this looks. And I'm going to paste it in. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I think I could deal with uh, a portrait one. Make that a little smaller. All depends on how big it is. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to grab. Now I can expand this or change it to, you know, landscape. You know, probably, you know, you don't want to make it too big. So remember, I'm going to cut this out. So here's the deal. All these things are going to be cut out, okay? Um, so then I'm going to go back to paint, and I can see where I started there. I'm going to grab that selection tool again, and then I'm going to do my next part. Whoops. I'm going to start a little bit below that. It's pretty good. Alright, and then I'm going to get my next section. You can make it bigger if you want. Don't grab. So the less you grab, the more exact it's going to be. Okay, remember you, you can make, you can, you can, um, you know, pierce things together. You know, you can do that and make it look really nice. So once again, I'm copying that. Going to my Word file. Um, and then I'm going to paste the next part. Okay, and you know, once again, I can make things smaller, make them bigger, you know, whatever. So that's kind of how you do it. So any questions, give me a call.